Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be showing you how to install DynMap onto your Minecraft server. The first thing we're going to do is make sure the server is currently marked as offline. Next, we'll go to the plugin page where we can download DynMap. This will uh, be linked in the description of this video, but we'll click download now, select our desktop, and then click save there. Next, we're going to go back to the server panel. We'll click FTP file access where we can gather our FTP details and then connect to our server using an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP. So I've connected to my server using an FTP client. I'm using FileZilla and I'm going to take the plugin that I just downloaded and put this in the plugins folder in our server files. Once this has been uploaded, we can then go back to our server panel and then click start. So the plugin is then loaded into our server. While the server is starting, we're going to go to the MySQL database page where we'll then create a new database by clicking add database. And we'll name this the plugin name, which is DynMap. Once that's been uh, entered in for the database name, we can go ahead and click add. And this will add the new database that we'll need to configure the plugin with. The server has now been fully started and I've brought the server files back up in my FTP client where I'll click the plugins folder and I'll find that DynMap has created a folder uh, where it will contain the configuration file we'll need to then enter in these MySQL details into it. Uh, this configuration file will be named configuration.txt. We'll click view and edit, and this will open it up into your default text editor. So we've gone ahead and pulled up the configuration file, and the first change we're going to make is where it says type equals file tree. So we're going to erase what's currently there. So we're going to erase file tree, and we'll simply type in MySQL because we're going to be using the MySQL database that we previously created for the storage method of this plugin. We're then going to skip down a few lines to where it says type once again, and this is going to say type MySQL. And what we need to do is uncomment from the type all the way down to the password. And what I mean by uncomment is by simply removing the hashtags that are currently there. Whenever you have a hashtag in front of these few strings, it's going to make it as a comment rather than reading uh, the information that's currently there. So once that's been uncommented, we're going to erase what's currently in the host field, which is currently localhost. Uh, then we'll go back to the panel, copy what is currently there. So we'll copy the host name of the database then minimize this once again and we can paste in the uh, host name that we got from the panel. We're going to leave port alone as that is the default MySQL port. We're going to jump down to the database field and then take the database name out of the panel. So we'll copy that once more and bring the configuration file back up, erase what's currently there and paste in what we previously copied. And we're going to do the same exact thing with the user ID. However, this is going to be the database user, so we'll copy this and erase what's currently there, paste in what we previously copied. So we're now going to copy the database password and then paste that in the password field. So now we have all of the details we need in order for the plugin to use the MySQL storage method. However, there's one more change we need to make in this configuration to be able to actually view the DynMap. Now, this is for the web viewer. So whenever you actually go to the web address for DynMap, we'll need to set up an additional port in the panel for the plugin to use. And we can do this by going to Advanced and then clicking Additional Ports. And then we can add a port on the left-hand side here. And this will generate us a port we can use. In this case, it's 8086. However, that's going to vary for you. And the easiest way to find what we're looking for, which is web server dash port, is simply pressing Control F on our keyboard and typing in web server dash port. And that will pull up um, exactly where it is in the file. So the current port that's in there is 8123. We'll backspace that out and paste in the port that we just created on our panel. Once this has been pasted in, we'll go ahead and click File and Save and then X out of this and bring FileZilla back up and click Yes, we want to upload our changes that we made. Now that this has been uploaded, we need to restart our server to then tell the plugin to reload the configuration file and use the changes that we've made in there. The server has now started up and the first thing we're going to do is click back in the server panel and copy our IP address. So we're going to actually copy uh, the first bit of the IP. We don't want the port as of right now. And then we're going to go back to the advanced tab and go back to the additional ports. We're going to open up a new browser tab and actually enter in the IP of our server. 
we will then put a colon and then copy the additional port that we previously had. And we can go ahead and paste that port in. And this is going to pull up the Dyn map that we've set up for our server. Now, as you can see, there's not much here because we don't have any players online to generate chunks for the map to actually map out. Let's go ahead and jump in game and we can then show off a few of the commands that the plugin has to offer as well as generate a few chunks for the map to then render. Okay, so I've gone ahead and logged into my server in game and if I do slash plugins, as you can see, we now have the DynMap plugin installed. So the main command for this plugin is simply DynMap and this will pull up a list of commands for this plugin. So we can do slash DynMap if we try to run one of the subcommands that DynMap has, for example, full render, it's going to then say full render starting on the world and then the world name. It's then going to tell us the progress of the render. So it says full render on map and then the type of render that it's currently doing, which is flat, and it's been completed. So uh, it's done 196 uh, tiles rendered. Then it says full render of the map surface of the world is currently in progress. So we'll show you what this essentially means in the DynMap, but there's a difference between flat and then surface. So I've gone ahead and pulled up DynMap once more and I've actually full screened it to give you guys a better view, but I'm going to use my mouse to kind of move around here and then I can use my scroll wheel to simply zoom into uh, my character. So I'm actually logged into the server right now and I can kind of view where my character is standing in this radius of the world. Now you'll see it's rendered this specific chunk and that's because we haven't explored beyond these chunks. If we hover our mouse on the side of the Dyne map, it will pull up a little sidebar that has a bit of information in it. So it will bring up the world, which is the main world that we're currently in. It'll bring up the nether and then as well as the end. Towards the bottom, it will have a list of players that we have currently connected to our server. If I click on my name, it's going to center the map on my character. We have a few different options when it comes to actually viewing the map. And this is kind of what I was talking about in game between the flat and then the surface. And then there's this other option, which is called cave. So we're going to show you all three of these options and what they do. By default, it's going to be selected on the flat surface. So if I zoom in, it kind of gives us this flat overview of the world. If we go back and then we click the uh, surface, it will then pull up a much, much more detailed view of our map. And if we zoom in, we can actually see the land itself. So if we were to build something in the world, it's going to give us a more detailed view of that build. So I can kind of scroll through the world here, but if I wanted to perhaps view the cave system, there's another option, and this is the cave option. As you can see, this is going to outline all of the caves throughout my world. You're going to want to keep in mind that DynMap can consume quite a lot of storage when generating these high resolution surface area maps. Now, a way to resolve this is to go into the configuration with DynMap, uh, click view and edit, just like we did before. And at the top of the uh, configuration file, there's this default template suffix. Now, what we can do is edit this to use the low resolution value. I'd highly recommend this if you have a uh, server with a lot of players on it, as you might run into quite a bit of storage uh, consumption whenever generating these larger maps. So to change this, all we'll need to do is backspace out what is currently here, and we're going to enter in the value uh, for low resolution. So it'll be V low res. Now uh, we can X out of this, then click save to uh, upload that to our server. And then we'll need to restart our server. In order to apply the changes that we made to the configuration, we'll need to go to console or in game and we'll run the DynMap command to bring up the sub commands for DynMap. However, we'll need to run DynMap uh, purge world and then the world name, which will be your default world name. So in my case, this is just world. And this is going to purge the current uh, DynMap world. Um, actually, so if we refresh here, as you can see, it's purged everything and uh, we'll need to go back into game for it to start to uh, re-render it. This is going to then apply those changes that we previously made to the configuration to then re-render the map with that updated resolution. So I've re-rendered DynaMap with the updated resolution. It's currently still loading some of the stuff in. However, if we go back to the surface view of DynaMap um, and kind of zoom in here, as you can see, the resolution is obviously significantly decreased. However, this will save a lot in terms of storage and it will save how fast it actually renders 
um, the map because it doesn't have to render um, as much as a, of a detailed view as before. So that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Publos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.